Hey there, Cinema 4D users. Uh, we've been working in splines here, and I wanted to show you one more thing as we work in B splines, uh, in case you're wondering what to do. I've always used Bezier curves, because I came from the Illustrator world, and we use Bezier curves there a lot. So I got into B splines, trying to figure some stuff out, figuring out what I wanted to do here. And I want to show you real quick what you can do with B splines, which is a lot easier than Bezier curves sometimes. You get in here with Bezier curves, and you probably know how you have to deal with all the handles, and you've got to move things around, and you got to tweak it, and you got to make it look nice and everything. But I want these nice big shapes, and I want them to all have some nice curves. And you can see how with Bezier curves, this would just be a nightmare to always be trying to get these curves to look good together. And this is a bigger map. It's a parking area. So... I don't want to have to deal with that. I want to be able to do it quickly. So what it's going to do is, I'm going to use this intersection as a good example. B splines are going to let me build my curve really quickly, and it's actually going to give me less control, which is going to be a good thing, because then I don't have as many things to grab and move and mess up and have to go back and fix later. So I'm going to have my existing spline selected down here, these green spaces, and I'm going to put a green space right in the middle of this intersection here. <clears throat> So I'm going to grab my pen tool, and with B-splines, the fastest, easiest way to do this is, see these white lines? These are going to be a great uh, example for this. I'm going to go clear to the corner here like that. That's not a corner where I'm going to actually have the green space. Then I'm going to go off the corner about that far. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to use three points for every curve, okay? So there's my corner. There's one point for that curve. So let's go in here down here and do the second one, because I'm, I'm going to get back to that. That's the end of our loop, okay? So here's one point as we start the curve. Here's a second point that <clears throat> notice is in line with the first point. And then I'm going to do my third point in line with it again, like that. And and basically what you the way you can think of it is if you don't have a white outline you're you're tra tracing, take your long straight edge and extend it out in your mind and then take your other edge that you want to have extended out in your mind. This is where this middle point goes. It goes to where these two lines would intersect, and that's going to give you a nice curve. So if I do the same over here, I can go one, two in the corner, and three. By the way, notice that I'm a pretty much equidistant from this corner spot. If I make it further on one and not as far on the other, if I make one way out here, you'll see we get a curve that is more sloping on this side. So if you want nice even curves, also do them about equidistant from your corner point. Okay? So I go over here. It's one, two, three, and then I come over here, and here's my last one for this connection here. And we get a nice little area here. It connected with all this stuff. It's all still one spline, you can see over here, because I had this spline selected before I started drawing, which was another little tip uh, that we had going on. So now that I'm in the pen tool, pen tool's great because I can just go in here and I can grab points and move things around. But see, notice how if I have this point out here, I'm going to get wonky stuff out there, and if I have it in too close, I'm going to get curving happening in here. So so if I wasn't using this white outline as a guide, I would mentally think, where is this straight line coming? If I want a nice, clean straight line and a clean corner, where is this line coming? It comes up to about here. Where is this line coming? Down through. And they're going to cross right about there. And you can see that this point doesn't actually end up getting any green space. It curves between them. So in a B-spline, the curve actually doesn't ever come clear to this point. It just kind of curves towards it. And so it's really similar to a Bezier. It just doesn't actually give me as many handles, and that's a good thing. If I want more rounded curves, I just back my middle points off that corner, and now I get a nice big rounded curve like that. But it's quick, it's easy, and everything is really easy to throw down. If I want to do another shape, I can just be like, bam, 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 bam. And I've already got a pretty good looking shape, and I just go in here, adjust a couple of things to tweak it, and I'm good to go, and I've got another nice shape. All right, that's it. Hope you like this tip. This is Cinema 4D R19 Broadcast, and I'm Greg from Anna Freeze Design. Have a great day.